Lewis, and uh, Lewis, first of all, how does it feel to be uh, be back into the England team and, and back into it from the start for such a, a huge match at the weekend? Oh yeah, it's a fantastic feeling. Um, it really is like a been a long time since I've um, started in uh, in this team, so to get the opportunity to to go and do it again is is unbelievable as always. Eddie's been talking about you and Nicky Sikwe's resilience, he called it, having had you know great spells with England, then just stepping away for a while for different reasons, but, but coming back, how do you see the time in between that you've been playing for England and not? Yeah, definitely that was a really good learning period for me. It wasn't where I wanted to be really in terms of um, my game. Um, and I think a lot, of the, a lot of the mental side of the game, I wasn't getting, getting quite right, so... Um, a little bit of time away from it to sort of focus on what I what I can do, and Eddie was supporting me the the whole way through as well to how I get the best out of my game, and just thankful he's given me the the opportunity to to go out and and do it again. Two more quick ones from me. Um, you'll be in the same back row as the New England captain Tom Curry. Uh, tell me a bit about Tom and the leadership skills you're hoping and expecting to see. Yeah, Cuz is a man. He's a man. He's um he really really chuffed for him doing that. Doing that role, I think he's a, definitely the right man for the job. He's a fantastic leader and speaker, and um, he just gets better and better at, at those leadership roles as well. So, um, yeah, absolutely shot for him. And the matter of the Calcutta Cup as a match, clearly physicality, brutality up front, you guys, back row, you name it. Um, one of many key battlegrounds in a, in a huge and, and classic historic context. Just give me your thoughts on all of that, please. Yeah, it's good. I think as, as back rowers, these are these are the sort of games you want to you want to play in. It's um, physical, confrontational. You're in the in the thick of it as well. So um, yeah, something something we're really looking forward to. Best of luck, mate. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, James Boyle. Hello, Lewis. Um, congrats on being picked again. Uh, two questions for me, really. Firstly, the captaincy at Northampton. How do you think that's helped you inform getting back to your best, and how do you enjoy the leadership role then? I think I t- touched on it a little bit with, with Russell there. Just that mental side of the game, I think, is when you're captain, you've got to think about it a little bit more. So I was very inward thinking, thinking about my own game and winding myself up, probably overthinking things at times. And when I think my focus was how my voice comes across to perhaps other people, um, that probably took a lot of the focus off myself, which I think was a, was a really positive thing for me. So um, I can only thank Chris Boyd for... Trusting me for t- trusting me to, to 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 take the role as as captain and um, yeah it's been a been a good good learning experience. Second one, uh, looking at the balance of the side on Saturday, it was an incredibly fast, skillful uh, backline and very fast and mobile b- uh, back row. Do you see you you as a trio having to perform that game line duty more in this game than perhaps you have done in previous games? Actually, being that game line focal point. No, I think yeah, always, always uh, the back row are looking to get ourselves on, lo- looking to get the team on the front foot and um, stop momentum and create momentum in in defence and attack. So um, that's that's always our role. Um, the game plan gets tweaked every week, but um, yeah, I think I think as, a, as from a, from a back row point of view, there's not a massive amount of change in in what we want to do day to day. Cheers, thank you. Hi Lewis, are you well? Hi Will, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, just a bit more if I can about kind of coming back into the England team. Obviously when you first got into it, I imagine it was a bit of a whirlwind, a bit of a blur, all quite exciting and new and fresh around that World Cup. Do you kind of view this as your sort of second go at it almost with the gap that you have and what you've done to get back into it? Yeah, I think the, the, the good thing about um, professional sports is there's there's opportunities to learn across the way wherever. And um, the last two years, as I said, has been a real real learning patch for me. I probably came um, into the setup probably a little bit naive to it. The World Cup being my first involvement and probably lost my way a little bit in um, what was expected of me and 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 in coming into an environment where I really didn't know myself as a rugby player yet. So um, I suppose my time away from the setup. Um, has helped me to try and figure out what I'm good at, what my game is, who I am as a person. And coming in this time, it's it's much easier to work hard and perform when you when you've got those that solid foundation to work on as well. So um, not so much a second go at it, but um, definitely feel like I've come in and, and, and seen the place in a from from a new perspective. You said you 
worked on the mental side of the game, which is incredibly important. Have you had anyone helping you with that? And have you had sort of, I don't know, exercises or bits and pieces that you've tried to tackle over the last couple of years that have helped? So, so yeah, the, t- the team um, psychiatrist here, she's fantastic. Andrea, she does a lot of work with the boys just about... Uh, mental preparation in camp and then um, just away from here hiring someone as well who's helped me to talk through things in and I think it's good to talk through anything personal life rugby life and I think once you've got that figured out it frees yourself up on a Saturday or Sunday to go out and perform as well so um, yeah that's definitely been a been a massive help for me being able to talk being able to address concerns and and learning a few things about how to deal with deal with some of these things when they come up do you think it was a case of I'm not trying to put words into your mouth, but just trying to get it right, of you feeling like you weren't yourself when you first came in, you are now. Is that the right way of saying it, or not quite? Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose so. You, anytime you go into a high-pressure environment, you're, you're being pulled in all different directions, and um, you, you, it's very hard to sort of be yourself in an environment like this. But um, that was always what was said to us, be yourself in the environment. But actually putting that into practice is, is way harder than, than, than you'd imagine, really. So, um, like I said, that time away from here, trying to figure out who I am as a person, um, who I am as a player as well, what I can hang my hat on, my foundations, um, and then coming into the camp now, it's, um, it's a way easier experience. Just a quick last one on that. The current group of guys that you've got in that squad, they're all from quite diverse backgrounds that sort of celebrate their histories and stuff like that. I know you've got lots of links all over the world. Do you think that kind of collective experience helps that you're all sort of going through similar pathways and you've come from different places in the world yes yeah, the best bit best bit about um being part of a team um there's loads of different people from different backgrounds different walks of life races classes and the, i think the really impressive thing the one thing i've learned is we always manage to come together and find common ground and it's an unbelievably tight group at the moment and um it's just a pleasure being around this squad day in, day out and being involved at the weekend and even better being able to take the field for the, for the brothers this weekend as well.